Hey y'all, this is Mrs. Butcher, and this video is about properties of logarithms. So the first property that we're going to learn is called the product property. And that property states that if I have the log with any base, so I'm going to use B, of any two things multiplied together, I could split it up into log base B of the first number plus log base B of the second number. For example, if I had log base 2 of 3xy, all of it's being logged, I could split this up into log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. So just like with our, uh, our powers, in our logarithms, the multiplication will turn into addition when you're splitting it up. And this can be useful, for example, if you were given log of 2 is 0 0.301, log with no base, remember, is log base 10, and log of 3 was 0.477, and you were asked to find log of 6, you could say, well, log of 6 is log 2 times 3, so that's log 2 plus log 3, so I could just add 0 0.301 to 0.477. And without a calculator, you could do that. You could now know that log of 6 is 0.778. Our next property is the quotient property, and that says log base B, any base of u over v of something divided by something is equal to log base b, we keep the same base, of u minus log base b of v. So look at the exponential rules. Division turns into subtraction. So for an example problem, log base 2 of x over 4, we could break that up into log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 4. And our third property today is the power property, and that says log base b, whatever base we have, of any number raised to a power is equal to that power times that log base b of u. So if you look at it, you're just taking your power and moving it to the front of the log. And that works because if I had, say I had log of 3 squared, then that's the same thing as saying log 3 times 3, right? And we already know that the um, multiplication, the product property says that would be log 3 plus log 3. And if I have two log threes, that's two log three. And that would have been what we'd have gotten if we'd have just taken our exponent and put it out in the front. So here's your video bonus. If you're actually watching this video and listening to it, you know, okay, I'm asking you to do log base eight of y cubed. I want you to do that yourself on a scrap of paper, it can just be a little bitty piece or post-it note or whatever, put your name on it. You're going to turn that in when you walk in tomorrow. I'm not going to remind you. I'm not going to ask for it. You turn it in, you get some extra bonus points on, these vid on this video. So now we're going to take those three properties that we just learned and we're going to use them all in combinations. So you're going to be told to either expand or condense on these types of problems. And so if I said expand log base 3 of 3x squared, if I asked you what properties are you going to use, you can look at this and you see multiplication, so you're going to use the product property, and you see an exponent, so you're going to use the power property. And the first thing I'm going to do is split it up, um, log base 3 of 3, and then I'm going to take this multiplication right here and make it plus log base 3 of x squared. And then I'm going to deal with my power property, and I'm going to move this little 2. It goes right here in front of that. So I should have log base 3 of 3 plus 2 log base 3 of x. 
Now, a temptation I see a lot is people will see this too, and they'll try to move it in front and then make it 2 log base 3 of 3 plus 2 log base 3 of x. But that squared is not on the 3, so it doesn't go with this first part. There is no 2 with this first part because that's not squared. So be sure that you split up, you know, make sure if there's not parentheses, you split up your multiplication first. Here's another example. I tried to type it out pretty, but I couldn't get the fraction and exponent all together, so I had to write it. Log base 2 of 12 to the 2 thirds power all over x. So notice x is not being raised to the 2 thirds power, so I have to deal with this division first. So I would say, okay, well that's log base 2 of 12 to the 2 thirds, because that's the numerator, minus log base 2 of x. And then I can take this exponent, the 2 thirds, nothing special with the fact that it's a fraction, just move it all into the front. So we have 2 thirds log base 2 of 12 minus log base 2 of x. Now try this one. This one's tricky because it has multiplication and then division and more multiplication. So be careful. We're going to split it up with the minus first. So I've got ln of 2x minus natural log of 5z. And then I'm going to split up my multiplica multiplication. So ln, the natural log of 2x is ln 2 plus ln x. And then I have this minus, and then this is very important that you remember this. I'm subtracting everything here, so I'm going to put a big group of parentheses around everything minus the natural log of 5 plus the natural log of z, okay? You could also just think of it as 5 is in the denominator, so it gets a minus on it. z is in the denominator, it gets a minus on it. So when you spread that out, you have L natural log of 2 plus the natural log of x minus the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of z. So whether you just think, okay, whatever's in the denominator gets a minus on it, or if you think, well, this is the whole denominator, so it's group, make sure you put the group in the parentheses because we would not say plus the natural log of z. That would put it in the numerator. And here's a tricky one. Log base 4 of the cube root of x. How on earth would you do a cube root when I didn't teach you a root property? Well, you turn your root into an exponent. And then you just follow the exponent rule. So you'll have one-third in front, log base 4 of x, just like that. Okay, now for this example, we're going to condense. So I gave you the sum of two logarithms. I want you to condense it down to just one. So if I do that, when I see a plus, I have to say, all right, I know that's, time. that's multiplying, so I'm going to be multiplying 13 times 3, log base 3 of 13 times 3, and then you can go ahead and tell me that that is log base 3 of 39. Here's one where we have 2, and then we have parentheses, natural log of 3 minus the natural log of x. So if there's parentheses around it, then yes, the 2 goes with both logs. So first, I, I, I can leave the 2 out if I want to and make it natural log. Now when I see the minus, I know that it's going to be 3 over x, and then I can take the 2 and I'm going to put the 3 over x all squared. It's all squared because the 2 goes with both of them. That little set of parentheses tells you it goes with both of them. And another one, log base 2 of 6 minus 2 log base 2 of x. This time the 2 is only with the second logarithm. So um, I'm going to make this log base 2 of, now I'm going to take 6, and I'm going to be dividing it, but I know I've got to move that 2 first, so I've got to make it 6 over x squared. The 2 only goes with the x this time, only x is squared, because the 2 is only in front of the logarithm with the x. Here's your next one. 1 third log base 4 of 27 plus 5 log base 4 of x. I'm going to take care of the exponents first. I'm going to change 1 third log base 4 of 27 to log base 4 of 27 to the 1 third power and log base 4 of x to the 5th power. Now, common sense, this one's easy, 27 to the 1 third power is 3. 
So log base 4 of 3 plus log base 4 of x to the fifth. And then since I have a plus, I can turn it into multiplication. Log base 4 of 3x to the fifth. And finally, here's 1, log base 2 of x plus log base 3 of 2. And if you're not paying attention, you'll just look at it and go, oh, it's x times 2. But this has a base of 2, and this has a base of 3. And you can't combine those in any way possible. Don't multiply them, don't add them. You just can't condense it. That is done. Unlike bases. So that can't condense. And I won't throw that at you often, but it could happen, so make sure you're paying attention to what the base is. So now we're going to use our skills of expanding and condensing using the properties of logarithms to solve an equation. I have log base 5 of 2 plus log base 5 of x equals log base 5 of 8. And I need to know what x is. So I can just condense this side into log base 5. And then it's plus, so it's going to be 2x equals log base 5 of 8. And then, because I have logarithm of this equals logarithm of that, then the, the 2x corresponds to the 8. So once you have only logs, one log on each side, one log on each side, you can cancel them out. And you can say, well, 2x equals 8 x equals 4. Log base 5 of 2 plus log base 5 of 4 equals log base 5 of 8, which makes sense because 2 times 4 is 8. Now let's solve this one. Log base 9 of w would equals 2 log base 9 of 6. You can't just drop the logs because the 2, the 2 is in your way. However, knowing your power property, log base 9 of w equals log base 9 of 6 to the second power. So now I can drop the logs and w equals 6 squared which is 36. Next one, log base 4 of x plus 2 minus log base 4 of x equals log base 4 of 5. Alright, we are going to condense these two together, right? So we want log base 4 and it's a minus. So we're going to have x plus 2 as our numerator and x is our denominator, equals log base 4 of 5. Now that we've gotten the logs alone, they can go away. And so I'm going to multiply both sides by x. x plus 2 equals 5x. Combine like terms, 2 equals 4x. x equals 1 half. Here's one more of these. This one's kind of long. Log base, or log, just log, base 10. Log 5 plus log 8 minus log 2 equals 1 half log 4 plus log x. All right, this one we have plus, oh, I'm on the highlighter, sorry. Oh, well, we have plus and minus. So we're going to go log, and then it's plus 8, 5 plus 8, so 5 times 8, and then minus log 2, so all over 2. And then I have this one half is going to go up here. So I've got log of 4 to the 1 half times x. Right? Because this plus becomes this, at this times right here. So now I can drop the logarithms. 5 times 8 is 40 divided by 2 is 20. 4 to the 1 half is 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. 20 equals 2x. x equals 10. So all these that we've solved today, um, we're condensing our stuff down so that we can have one logarithm on each side of the equation, and then you just drop the logarithm. Now wait, don't change the channel yet. Don't turn me off yet. I have one more thing, and this is on the test. So those of you who have given up and turned off the video, oh well, too bad, so sad for you. The change of base formula. Here it is, really big. Log base A of x is equal to log base b, and b can be anything, of x, this same x from here, divided by 
log base, these just B's have to be the same. It doesn't matter what they are, but they have to be the same of A, that base. So this used to be extra handy on the older calculators, you know, those black ones you use in science, because those don't have the log base option. So if I wanted to have, if I wanted to figure out log base 2 of 6, then I would do log base 10, because I have a button for that on those old calculators, of 6, the bigger one goes on top, the bigger, not, not bigger um, numerically, bigger physically, the bigger the, the number goes on top, and log of 2, the log of the base goes on the bottom, and then you can, on those older calculators, you could punch that in, and you would get 2.585. Now I know that that's not useful, uh, I mean that's not necessary for the ones we have in class, but not all of you have one like that, so this could be a useful skill for you at some point in your life. Let's try one more. Log base 7 of 3. Now, like I said, B could be anything, so your calculator has log base 10 buttons. It also, they usually also have natural log buttons, so we could try this with LN but make sure you put the 3 on the top and ln of 7 on the bottom. And then that's something you could punch into your calculator, um, the older calculators, and you would get 0.565. So you need to know the change of base formula. And I always just do it with the base of 10, because every calculator has that. Well, every scientific calculator has that. So just remember, log base 10 of that one divided by log base 10 of that base there. Okay, now I'm done. And here's your joke. That's pretty funny, right? Maybe that'll help you remember. <laughs>